Nerve Supply of the Hand, movie number three. Now we talk about the median nerve. As we said, the inner nerve give the palmar cutaneous branch and dorsal cutaneous branch. For the median, for the median nerve, in the forearm, it only give the palmar cutaneous branch here. So this means the palm of the hand supply the palm of the hand, not fingers. The palm supply by palmar cutaneous branch of the median and palmar cutaneous branch of the radial. Oh, sorry, of the ulnar. Palm cutis branch of the median nerve and palm cutis branch of the ulnar nerve. This is the palm. The palm cutis branch of the median nerve, which is emerged from the main trunk of the median nerve. We can see the median nerve here. This is the median nerve. This is the median nerve. Here in the forearm, it gives superficial. We call it superficial palmar cutaneous or palmar not superficial. We, we it give palmar cutaneous branch. From its name, palmar means supply the palm, not the digits. Cutaneous because it is only cutaneous, not muscular. A branch branch from the median nerve. And here also we have a palmar cutaneous branch. Same name, but this is from median nerve and this is from ulnar nerve. Uh, the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve supply the lateral two thirds. You remember here when we say the palmar cutaneous branch of the inner nerve supply the medial third of the palm, while the palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve supply the lateral two third of the palm. Lateral two third. This area is supplied by palmar cutaneous branch of the median nerve, while this third area of the palm, just the palm, just here the palm, not the fingers, supplied by palmar cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve. Okay, this is the palmar cutaneous branch. Ulnar nerve has also dorsal cutaneous branch, while the median nerve don't has dorsal cutaneous branch, just palmar cutaneous branch. Okay, once the ulnar nerve, as we see here, the ulnar nerve pass little bit deep, and then emerge between. It emerge usually. It emerge here. Actually, it's not seen, but you, it's the uh, right way. I right think is it emerge here, medial to the. This is the flexor carpi radialis tendon. It medial to the flexor carpi radialis tendon and lateral to the this muscle which is the uh, flexor digitorum superficialis this is the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon these are the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon one two three and this is palmaris longus this is this one palmaris longus tendon these are the flexor digitorum superficialis so the median nerve is this is the position of the median nerve little bit lateral to the midpoint of the uh, wrist region anteriorly so the median nerve lie medial to the flexor carpi radialis and lateral to the tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis. The median nerve pass through the carpal tunnel deep to the flexor retinaculum and emerge in the wrist. In the wrist, it give cutaneous branch and deep uh, uh, cutaneous branch and muscular branch. The muscular branch is very, very, very important. We call it a recurrent branch, recurrent muscular branch. This recurrent muscular branch of the median nerve, it emerge about, uh, this is the scaphoid tubercle, here is the scaphoid tubercle, this is the scaphoid tubercle here, and this scaphoid tubercle, you can feel it here, this is the scaphoid tubercle, about one finger breadth, uh, one finger breadth, this to the scaphoid tubercle, this branch will return back to these th uh, thinner muscles, we have three thinner muscles, the abductor pollicis previous, the flexor pulse brevis, and we have a ponius pulses deep. These three muscles of the thinner muscle supplied by the recurrent muscular branch of the median nerve. From where, once it enter the carpal tunnel, once it emerge, it will wind around. I mean, curve will take this curve to supply this. This is usually by any injury here or any wrong surgery will damage this and lead to paralysis of the, these three muscles. A lot of questions directed to the students by uh, uh, about this recurrent. Uh, recurrent muscular branch of the median nerve. This is the muscular. What about the uh, cutaneous branch? The cutaneous branch supply, will, uh, as we see here, the cutaneous branch will supply uh, 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 lateral, lateral three fingers and half. Remember when you say the inner cutaneous branch? The inner cutaneous branch supply one finger and half. The inner, the median cutaneous branch will supply the lateral three finger, one, two, three, and half of the ring finger the palmar surface of this finger and the dorsum so this mean this mean 